Around seven years ago, I was really close friends with this girl named Caitlin, and we went to the same public school. I also had a lot of other friends. And back in grade five, we didn't really care about, you know, race. We were friends with everyone with different cultures and whatever. And later, things started to change. Me and Caitlin were playing at the park, and one of my other best friends came along, and she started to tell me that, hey, we shouldn't play with Caitlin because she's black. And obviously that didn't make any sense to me because I'm myself brown, but back then I, you know, went with the crowd. So I went up to Caitlin and I said, Caitlin, I don't want to be your friend because you're black. And I left. And later, I felt so guilty because I did not mean it because she was my best friend. I still wanted to be best friends with her. After a few days, I went over to her house. I rang the bell and she was standing there and she said, am I too black to be friends with you? And I felt really bad. And I'm like, listen, Caitlin, I'm sorry. I was just trying to fit in with the other girls. And I did not mean it because you're my best friend and I'll, you'll always be my best friend. So can you please think about it and forgive me for what I've done? So she accepted my apology and we became friends again. Later, my best friends, which were the mean girls, came up to me and said, Why are you friends with Caitlyn? And I said, So we've been best friends forever. Like, let me be friends with her. And they said, No, you can't be friends with her. She's black. And I said, You know what? I don't care. I can be friends with whoever I want to be. And that's when, you know, they were bullying me as well. Bullying me and Caitlyn. But I was like, I don't care as long as I have a good friend. That's all that matters. Oh my god, and we totally jumped off the cliff and had to zoom all the way to shore because the dog chased us all the way to the end.